Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A negative charge Q is to be moved in an electric field E to the equidistant points from its position as shown. Which path requires the most work done? Okay. So uh, to answer this question, my dear students, you must uh, first of all know a couple of other concepts and I'm going to tell you. Number one thing is that whenever the electric field is drawn like this, always try to understand this thing that they're talking about the uniform electric field, which means that the electric field is same at all of the points wherever you take. Another point that you want to note is that whenever the electric field is directed from uh, this side to this side, the first side is always positive. The other side is always to be taken as negative. So electric field is always pointing from positive to negative. That is the second point that you have to note. Point number three, the positive is always at a higher potential and negative is always at a lower potential. So whenever we are moving along the uniform electric field, along the electric field, we are moving along the electric field line, the potential keeps on reducing. This is point number three that we have got. Point number four that we are noting down is that the change in potential with respect to the position is really uniform. Uniform means that the graph would be somewhat looking like this. Like here the potential is V and here the potential is zero. So they are connected with a perfectly straight line. It means that the potential is reducing at a uniform pace. The same distance is going to ch change the potential by the same amount. Okay. Now they are saying that it is equidistant. That is why it was very important. So after all, noting these, these four points, we are coming to our question now. So this is positive. This is negative and the potential at A, potential at B. It is going to be uniform. So whether you talk V point here or you take V point here, one is the same thing because potential is the same on this plane. This is equipotential line. Equipotential plane surface. Fine. Similarly, see, this is equipotential surface. So the distance between Q and C is lesser than Q and D. So D is definitely creating more potential difference. So one thing is sure that the potential difference in the case of D it is uh, basically equal to the change in potential difference in the case of A and which are definitely more than the P, which is equal to C. As per the magnitude is concerned, I'm just considering magnitude here. So please do not get confused with the negative signs. One thing is sure. Now, what is the work done? So work done is given by the formula. I have already told you whenever we want to find work done, it is the negative of Q into delta V. My dear student, there is a very big concept, another big concept that is coming our way. So there are two things, work done by field force and another is work done by external agency or external force. So whenever they talk about work done, like it is written in the question, which path requires most of the work done? I believe this is highly incomplete question. Like it's not, it's not a good question, it is incomplete. In the way, they should have told you work done by the field or work done by the external force. So it has to be completed. You can't just say what is the work done. Work done by whom? You have to tell that. Because these two work done are always opposite in sign. One is positive, another is negative. Like for example, in the case of uh, A, let me now explain you this thing. Now you see, this Q is negatively charged and this side is positive. Obviously, this Q charge wants to go towards the positive side and it will obviously it will start moving. But who is applying the force on the charge? The electric field is applying the force on the charge. Electric field is making this charge move through a distance. The, so who is doing the work? Work is done by the electric field and that will be positive. So in this case, this work done is positive and the work done by the external agency is negative. Now, if we talk about the work done in the case of D, Obviously, the electron does not want to go towards D. We are forcing it. So the external force has to be applied, equal and opposite, and we will push the electron towards the negative plate and it will move. So work done by external force will be positive in that case and work done by the field will be negative because the field is applying a force towards left and the charge is moving towards right. So this is the displacement. This is the F. So the work done will come out to be negative F into S cos 180, which is negative. So that is why, according to me, this is not done. They must have given here that what is the work done by the field force or the work done by the external force or something. They must have given this thing. 
Okay. So having said that, I can definitely say that the work done in the case of A is equal to the work done in case of B as per the magnitude is concerned. So when they ask you like uh, which path requires the most of work, so the answer A as well as D both are correct. But if we go for the mark scheme, you see the answer given is capital D. So if this is the answer, it means they, and they say that this is the maximum work. So obviously they are referring to the work done by the external force, which is not the obvious case in the case of electric fields, my dear students. There is a problem here. There is a problem here. So if you got the answer A, full marks should be given to you. If you got the answer D, even then full marks should be given to you. Because technically both of them are the same things and the work done is maximum. Work done is maximum by the field. It is maximum for A. Work done by the external agency is positive in the case of D. So I believe I have tried my best to make the concept really very clear here. And uh, the questions regarding work, regarding potential, regarding potential energies, they are generally a very um, non-obvious kind of things. And they are difficult to understand. They are very confusing. There's no doubt about it. A bit of more practice and you would be really expert at those things. There will be no, there is no doubt about that, I believe. Okay, my dear students, so for the answer for this is given as D. But uh, for me, the answer is A as well as D. Both are correct. Okay, then, my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.